lovies, it's Tahani here from Her Style. Thanks for visiting me today. Today is a very exciting day because today is the first day of a what to wear dating series. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so not so long ago I got a request from a viewer asking me how should she pair her makeup and her hair and her outfit when she goes out on dates. So I've got you girls covered. I know it's about the entire look and you guys want to look perfect and you want to look the best. So since it's the first video, let's start with the first date. First dates are usually easy breezy. They're usually um, day dates. So it's out to cough, out for coffee, um, you know, out for brunch, lunch, out for some ice cream, um, out for a nice stroll in the park or a little picnic or something like that. So let's keep it easy breezy. So since it's a day day, um, of course I'm wearing a white light chiffon top. Um, so I kept it simple with the hair and makeup. I wanted to do my hair very bone straight out of my face so that he can focus on my eyes. <laughs> You don't want to have your hair in your face and brushing it out of the way every two seconds. You want to keep the focus on what's going on. So have your hair out of your face um, and add some shine. What I do to add shine is I use the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco. Um, it has It's a gloss and shine mist. It's really good. It's lightweight. It has instant shine and it also protects and conditions and controls frizz. I know you girls have some, you know, usually during this time of year, it's really hard to control the frizz, but I'm telling you this does the trick because I have serious frizz problems. Um, that's what I use for frizz control. It's really, really good. I highly recommend it. Um, what I do to add the shine, I just spray over on the top of the hair and I just go over with the flat iron. Or what you could do, that's what I think um, controls more of the frizz when I do that. Or what you can do is just add it to the palm of your hand, rub it together, and just add it to the top of your hair. And there you go, instant shine. Why I think it's the best to add the shine over the top after you finish styling is because it adds just a beautiful shine when the light is reflecting on your hair during that day day. Little tip. So let's move on to the makeup. For the makeup, I did a very light, no makeup look. Um, what I did for my makeup was I used my wedge brush and if you watch my sensitive scare can vi video I love doing this during the day. What I do is I um, Dip my wedges in some water and add my foundation like that. I usually use the covergirl all day flawless Aha, uh -huh, I re I re up on my stuff Last time it was a little low. So I'm happy that I got a new one for you guys for this video. Um, I use the CoverGirl All Day Flawless Foundation. And why I use it during the day is because it has SPF um, 20 in there to protect my skin during the day. Especially since it's a day date. So I use this on my face. Don't forget to add a little bit of the water because it goes on very lightly. Um, for a contour I used this Black Radiance Press Powder. In the marula color I just did it for a slight contour on my cheeks right here and on my hairline um, on my forehead and this stuff is amazing it's really pretty they have really other pretty colors um, I recommend this a lot for your um, summertime springtime contour powders um, for a little bit of a glossy look I use this warm tan bronzer from e.l.f. and I applied it with my um, edge brush on the top of my cheekbone, the bridge of my nose, and over my eyelid going up to the arch of my eyebrow. It just adds that instant beautiful shine. Again, when the light reflects on your skin, you just will look like a goddess. I'm just saying. Um, on my eyes, I use just a black liner on the very close to my eyelash line with um, adding a little bit of I don't know if you could see but I just added a little bit of mascara to the tips of my eyelashes sometimes when you add on your um mascara sometimes we you know we brush from the very end and it gets all clumpy so I just added to the end of it to kind of groom it a little bit and it's very, it grooms them very well and it doesn't look like I have like a clump of eyelash um, 
all on stuck and it's just not a good look so that's what I do for a lighter look and of course I added some on by lower um, lashes there on my lips I added this brown lighter around on my lips and I'm wearing my NYX lip gloss in natural oh my gosh I love the NYX colors for the spring and summertime they are so so beautiful they have the matte colors and their glossy colors are amazing too again I'm wearing the number 22 in natural they have a lot of natural colors so make sure you're pairing the right natural lip gloss why natural because of course it's a day day and we're going for a simple no makeup look so you want to do like an earthy tone type of lip gloss but you want a little bit of the shine so your lips get a little pop so that's what i did for my hair and my makeup again my outfit will be on the blog so check out the details for it on there um thanks for visiting me ladies and i would love to hear about all your first date um, experiences you can comment below um, or visit the blog and comment on the blog there thank you so much for visiting me bye lovies